Hey, what's up? Ako si Matthew and sa episode na to, pag-uusapan natin kung paano ba ma-fix yung black screen issue ng OBS kapag ka sinusubukan mong mag-record sa desktop or laptop mo. Bago tayo pumunta sa tutorial, I would just like to ask for you to like this video and make sure that you subscribe to this channel for more tutorials like this. So, ang una mong dapat gawin ay i-check kung ano ba yung graphics processor ng computer mo. Isa yan sa mga issue na kailangan mong malaman kapag ka nag obs ka dahil usually yung mga laptop ngayon, lalong-lalo na yung mga ginagamit for gaming, kung magsistream ka ng game o kaya magpo-project ka ng screen mo, ay dalawa ang graphics card. Merong default at saka meron yung high-performance graphics card. So, kung ikaw ay gumagamit ng NVIDIA graphics card sa laptop mo, kagaya ko, Ang isa sa pwede mong gawin ay i-check yung NVIDIA control panel at para mabuksan mo yon pupunta ka sa baba dito sa kanan and makikita mo dito yung logo ng NVIDIA or yung icon, yung shortcut para buksan yung NVIDIA settings. Right-click this and make sure that you open the NVIDIA control panel. It, this might take time na magbukas kaya be patient. Pag-click mo yan, antayin mo siyang bumukas at huwag ka sanang mainip dahil it will really take time for your computer to do this. Pagka nagbukas na yung NVIDIA control panel, ganito ang itsura niyan. And you just have to go to 3D settings and click on the manage 3D settings tab. Pag nandun ka na, merong dalawang tab na nagsasabing, I would like to use the following 3D settings. I want you to check your global settings at dapat nakaset yan sa high performance NVIDIA processor instead of the integrated graphics dahil yung integrated graphics ang built-in ng computer mo and usually, mas mahina ang processing power nun kesa dun sa high-performance NVIDIA processor. Kaya nga, high-performance, di ba? <laughs> Pangalawang kailangan mong i-check ay yung program settings and this will be specific to OBS. Ang kailangan mong gawin ay dito sa Select a Program to Customize, look for OBS among the list of the programs that you have, select it, and then number two, select the preferred graphics processor for this program. And then of course, make sure na nakaselect din dito yung global setting dahil yun na ang sinet natin kanina. Ibig sabihin yung default setting or usually yung gagamitin ng computer ma ay yung high performance NVIDIA processor. Pwede mo rin namang gawin na select yung high performance NVIDIA processor dito pero dahil sinet na natin siya sa global settings, wala na siya masyadong effect kung babaguhin pa rin natin. It's just the same. And then, kapag tapos ka na, no, simply click on Apply for the program that you want. So again, no, OBS, Use Global Settings, or Use High Performance NVIDIA Processor. And then you click on Apply dito sa window na to. This, would also mi this might also take time a computer mo. Depende kung gano'ng kabilis yung computer mo. So please, be patient with your machine. Hayaan mo siyang gawin yung trabaho niya dahil alam naman niya kung ano yung gusto mong mangyari pag kinomand mo na yan. So that's the first step for you to make sure that your OBS Studio program will run on your NVIDIA High Performance Graphics Processor. Yung pangalawa na dapat mong gawin para maayos tong black screen issue na to ay pumunta ka sa computer settings mo. So para magawa mo yun, pupunta ka sa Start Menu. So you click on Start Menu and then click on the gear icon which stands for your computer settings. And then you have to look for System. Okay? So be sure that you you visit the settings home screen, no? Ganito ang itsura ng home screen settings. Click on system. And then select display dito sa left side. In display ay mag-aalaw sa iyo para baguhin yung settings ng display kung saan ka magpo mag kung saan ka magpo-process ng mga windows na naka-open. And then when you're on the display settings, I want you to scroll down and go to your graphics settings. Okay, graphic settings. Nasa pinakababayan. And then graphic settings will allow you to tinker with yung graphic performance preference ng mga computer programs mo. Okay? And dito makikita natin na ang nakaselect ay classic app instead of universal app. And then you should set your OBS Studio program sa computer mo as a classic app. So para magawa mo yun, punta ka sa browse. Okay? And usually, ang OBS ay nasa location na ito. Nasa C, Program Files, OBS Studio, Bin, and 64-bit. Kung nahihirapan kang hanapin yun, you click on this PC. 
click on local disk, click on program files, click on OBS Studio, and then click on bin, and then open the 64-bit or 32-bit folder, depending ko anong computer mo, and then you select OBS, and then click on add to sa baba. Right? Dahil naka-select siya, naka-select na siya dito sa computer ko, sabi niya, specified app was already added. But here, we can see that we can now change the power settings of our OBS program. And I have it selected on power saving. Okay? Kapag ka sinet mo siya sa high performance or system default, might not capture your OBS. So, I would like to suggest because this works for me, you set it on the power saving setting and then click on save. Right? Pagka nagawa mo na yan, simply close this window. That's automatically saved on your system. And you may now open your OBS program. Okay? So, tandaan mo, unang-una, what you have to do is to go to your NVIDIA control panel. Make sure that you set everything on high-performance NVIDIA. And you also specify in your OBS program through the program settings na ito ay dapat tumakbo sa high performance or high performance graphic card ng computer. And ang pangalawa na pwede mong gawin is to check on the settings system, right? On your computer. And then look for the graphics settings. And then set your OBS as a classic app on your computer. And dahil sa akin, ang setting ay power saving, I recommend you use my settings because it might just fix the problem for you. Okay? So, itong tutorial nito ay dedicated sa aking kapatid na si Aizen Bro. Salamat sa tanong. Kung meron pa kayong mga tanong na gusto nyo ring i-explain ko dito about OBS, feel free to comment on this video. And please like and share this video para naman marami sa atin ang makagawa din ng mga content gamit ang OBS. Kung gagawa ka ng gaming content, gagawa ka ng teaching content, or anything na maaring makatulong sa iba, this will work for you. See you again sa next episode. God bless.